This is a solar lithium ion powered light device that produces this LED output like that. And if you click it again, it can get brighter and it can pulse. But what I really want to show you are these LED modules. There's the controller, some resistors, capacitors, all board mounted. We see that the battery could have been installed the other way. There's solder pads here and here for plus and minus instead of over here. And you can even trace, you can see those fine lines. You can trace under the white paint, the uh, inlaid circuit path to these LEDs. You can see it's polycrystalline. See how that, that crystal oscillate, the visual oscillating effect. These are made of very thinly sliced pieces of a, a big cast block of polycrystalline silicon uh, cut by a wafer slicing apparatus. And this central um, switch here is what controls the unit. The LiPo pack here is a Sexsun 4243560 milliamp hour 3.7 volt ECO3201409020 unit. I imagine without knowing that this is a few years old, uh, it was given to me uh, by a woman seeking to recycle this device. It was originally inside an inflatable balloon made of some kind of smelly PVA plastic or something. I'm going to be using this um, UV flashlight here, which just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the LEDs here under ultraviolet. So you can see what they look like and they're being illuminated by an external UV source. Now you get the macro lens on here. Okay, so now with the macro lens attached, you see we can get much better and get very crispy, very crispy details like that. And you can see the chip cup design of the LED. So now we're gonna put the ultraviolet on there and see if we can't the LED illuminated under ultraviolet and then regular and ultraviolet. Looks like the color correction here from the AI and the key camera is dimming the visual effect that I see. Um, kind of got a glowing effect that compensates for. Yeah, there you go. Ultraviolet and regular color imaging.